Hello guys, finally a new video, yes, and today I am showing you a new keyboard. It's a different keyboard, okay? It's a retro keyboard. This keyboard has two things. One, you will really like it, or second, you will hate it. So, this is a specific key if you keyboard if you want, for example, to have a setup, a, a, a different setup, a different keyboard. If you are a guy that really likes these kind of things, I mean, this keyboard, you will see, but it's really awesome. Let's open it and check it out. Okay, guys, so what can I say? The, the keyboard is uh, awesome. If you know the typewriting uh, machines that uh, exist in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, from 70s, they have a touch in their keyboards, and I mean, this touch is exactly the same, which is awesome. They, they, the printed faces in this, this, these keys are uh, even getting the similar touch that you will get in those uh, uh, typewriters so it's really all i mean i'm looking for this keyboard and i'm already in love because you know i like different things i think this keyboard is i'm not saying that it is awesome no i'm just saying that the it's beautiful okay it, if, if you see it in person it's really really awesome and and, and i must know that this keyboard is still uh, rgb but one of the things that i must uh, tell you this is um, a blue switch as you can see this this uh, comes with the um, the blue switch this is the key that you've got on this keyboard blue it's mechanical keyboard it's blue blue switches but you have the option of black switches anyhow i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to buy it just check the link this is a gaming keyboard believe you or not i still didn't test it i'm gonna try it out and uh, one of the things that you must know it's anti-ghosting every keys and it's got rgb let's connect it check it out the rgb and the uh, type sounds top part of the keyboard is aluminium it looks like aluminium okay not plastic you've got a small uh, plastic here for what to for your wrists when you are typing it's got um, a small but it's enough to rest the wrists which is awesome if you are typing you can always have a small rest here and uh, one of the things that I've noticed was the in the back of it You've got here a small piece to the, the keyboards. I mean, you don't need to use this. You can use this one. And it's great to be on keyboard because in this way you will never lose it. As you can see, you can increase the height of it. Uh, it's got one of the things nice is the, they have implemented here uh, a soft rubber so that this this will what well, this will stuck your keyboard and it will not wumble. To have any everywhere so it's great the only thing that uh, they should implement was a connection by usb i mean a removable cable a lot of keyboards are already being uh, coming with this function you can connect it after but anyhow it's connected already to the keyboard but for example if you make a, if you have a hole in your desk and you put this 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 cable through the wall you will not see any uh, cable around the keyboard which is awesome it will make it feels like it's a wireless keyboard now now that we speak about the build quality one of the things that, okay one of the things that i must speak about is the keyboard as you can see it wumbles a little you see very little not too much i think it's because it's really high so now that we have seen all the specs about the quality the image the keyboard the keys let's now turn it on and check the rgb and how it works okay here you can increase the brightness decrease the brightness in the arrows it's simple we've seen the brightness you can increase and decrease the brightness and you can for example change here the options of the the keyboard i mean your uh, rgb effects so as you can see we already changed as i'm going to typing it's it's changing I can change again and you've got many many types of uh, different uh, rgb in the keyboard this is without okay for example gaming modes you can increase and decrease the speed okay i'm gonna increase or decrease the speed of the lay of the rgb okay 
and you got the reactive mode when you are typing and I think you've got yeah you got this one which is really awesome too as you can see about RGB the RGB is really awesome you've got many functions and you can play with it and you can choose what's the best option for you but now let's check the uh, oh one of the things that I didn't show you was as you can see you've got RGB on the side of this keyboard I don't know if I change it it change here too no, it doesn't change the color of this one I think it doesn't change not sure but looks like it doesn't but anyhow it's got a really nice RGB okay, now we are back let's check the writing type and the gaming mode how it works when you are playing or when you are typing something on the computer let's check it out so let me speak about when I first connected to the my PC it was plug and play obviously and uh, when you start typing it was easy I'm not gonna say that it was hard um, I adapt really easy to the keyboard the only thing that I must say is that for example when I'm writing on the normal keyboard uh, a square keyboard uh, usually square, with square keys usually it's really hard for me to mistake the keys even not looking to the keyboard in this one I was not looking to the keyboard and sometimes I mistake it and I have to look it and type it out and type it again this has I think this has to do your adaptation for this kind of keyboard because you are working with a different product and now speaking about uh, gaming gaming for me it was really easy I played CSGO Fortnite Battlefield didn't have any issues because they are simple games you got you use the uh, the the keyboard to forward backward left right I mean it's a, a simple doesn't you don't have a lot of keys to use but for example if you are using this for a League of Legends uh, more complicated games that will uh, need more keys to be pressed maybe it can uh, since the, the keys are so together maybe you can s s slip and touch in other key that you don't want it so anyhow if I recommend this keyboard I will recommend this keyboard without any problems to people that uh, use content creation that does content creation uh, write a lot uh, play casually okay not as a professional but remember you have to like this type of keyboards this retro it, it has got a, a different visual when you look at it it's a really different visual that it's a really different keyboard so as I said you will love it or you will hate it well for me I love it I definitely like it was really easy to adapt I just cannot recommend if they if you are a really professional gamer or if you use only your PC for gaming well I will maintain my normal keyboard the square keys uh, and will not go to this one but the rest of this I think this keyboard is really really nice Guys, tell me what you think about this keyboard, just leave me in the comments, you know you are gonna have the link in the description. Anyhow, I hope you like the vid I hope you like the review, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and as always, bye bye and see you soon! Mm, really nice.